Chase Horrocks with AfterburnerStoves.com. Today's video is on accidentally overfueling a rocket stove. If you put too much fuel in a rocket stove, you get a lot of smoke output. Now, maybe you don't care. Maybe you're trying to boil a, a pot of water really, really fast. So you stoke it up to a really hot fire and it pours out some smoke and you're happy because it boils your water really quick. That's fine. If you're looking to be as fuel efficient as possible and burn just as little bit of wood to do the job as possible, then you don't want to overfuel your rocket stove. The hotter your rocket stove gets, the easier it is to overfuel, and that's because it gets hot enough to burn really fast, and you start finding yourself feeding the wood really fast, and then you have a high bed of embers that are not really burnt yet. They're the bunch of the unburnt ends that you've been tossing in, and then you're putting more wood on the fire. So let's take a look at one that I accidentally overfueled. Okay. Well, it took me a while to actually film that intro. And in the meantime, my smoke went away. <laughs> However, let me show you what I meant by that. I was knocking off the ends and tossing in my wood. And what had ended up happening was I had a bunch of these ends that I had shoved in off of these sticks and they were still burning and they were fresh fuel. And then I had gone ahead and put new sticks in as well. And because of the size of the new sticks and the amount of new wood I had just thrust in there, I had more wood producing more wood gases or what you and I like to call smoke than the airflow was capable of, of providing enough oxygen for, for a complete burn. And so I was getting visible smoke. And so visible smoke happens when you put too much fuel and you can see it here right now, we're producing a little bit of blue smoke that's from having too much wood okay so what I need to do is feed my wood a little bit slower so I'm just burning the tips and I'm not putting too much wood in there so what happens I like to push them all the way to the back and then keep putting in more sticks and I overdo it so that's one way you can you can overfuel your rocket stove now on the same topic about fine-tuning your fire to eliminate visible smoke what you want to do is keep your sticks close enough together to share their heat and far enough apart to get oxygen between them. An eighth inch is ideal, but it's not an exact science, so don't get too anal retentive about it. Just go ahead and feed in your sticks close together with a little gap in between and feed them in slow enough that you don't get smoke. So let's show you what it looks like when it operates without the smoke. Okay, you see how just taking out a little bit of wood cleaned it up a little bit? Actually, I'm still getting wisps of black smoke. So I still have too much in there. Take out one more. Okay, because you only ever need as much fuel as the stove can handle and operate in a smoke-free situation. The hotter your bed of coals, the less wood you need. Uh, you can, of course, burn more wood on a hotter bed of coals, like a bigger, bigger chunk of wood but uh, you don't need to. And if you have so much wood that you restrict airflow or you have so much wood that it produces more smoke than you have oxygen for, then it doesn't burn as clean. So here you have a clean burning rocket stove. And of course, it's easy to add more fuel until you see smoke and then back off if you're looking for maximum power. This is Chris Horrocks with AfterburnerStoves.com saying have a great day and cook something healthy and delicious for your family.